As you know, parts of North Texas um, are in the line of totality for the April 8th solar eclipse. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Uh, area schools and groups are making sure kids and teachers are ready for the big event. NBC5's Vince Sims shows us how. Here at the Eduardo Mata Montessori School, education is happening every day, but today they made sure the students were learning about the upcoming eclipse. Out of the way, so this photo shows you kind of what it will look like to your eyes. Inside the auditorium, dark. there's already excitement surrounding the solar eclipse. You'll see. Because, like, I've never seen a total eclipse. I've never heard of one. Well, what's exciting is, like, the rarity of it also just eclipse, like, you, you usually you're walking around normal day it's sunny but bam it's dark oh my gosh what is going on that's very that's a very exciting experience um, what i want you to do is take your thumb out at arm's length the dallas arboretum added to that excitement with students getting to learn from astronomer dr jeffrey bennett he also wants all teachers to understand this is more than just a science class lesson eclipses have had this enormous impact on human history because they are such spectacular events so i want teachers to take advantage of this opportunity this special day coming up to use it to teach across the entire curriculum not only in science the school in Dallas ISD and more than 50 other schools and districts will all be getting free eclipse watching protective eyewear. The Perot Museum of Nature and Science was distributing boxes of them Wednesday and are on a mission to distribute more than 1 million safety glasses around the area. So this is a great way to bring everyone together around science because we're going to be experiencing the same thing at the same time. An experience to last a lifetime. I mean like yeah we do a lot of memorable stuff but like this is super memorable. It's like I can brag about it to all of my friends and family. Dr. Bennett will be holding his public sessions this weekend at the Dallas Arboretum. We'll have more information connected to this story on our website at NBCDFW.com. In Dallas, I'm Vince Sims, NBC5.